वेलकम टू सुब्रमण्य शुड आई इन्वेस्ट नाउ वेन मार्केट्स आर एट एन ऑल टाइम हाई दिस इज़ अ क्वेश्चन विच हैज़ बीन आस टू मी सो ऑफन दैट आई आई एम गोइ टू फाइंड इट वेरी डिफिकल्ट आंसरिंग इट बिकॉज इट्स नॉट अ स्ट्रेट फॉरवर्ड आंसर If you see, most of the time, say seventy percent of the times of your investment, the market is going to be up. So, if you take uh, last eight years, uh, we have not seen a reasonable fall in the market, right? Though even though it had this COVID period, the fall was only for two three months in two thousand twenty. So, if you take seven eight years, the market has not significantly fallen, and even if it has fallen, it has recovered so quickly. that people have a theory that when the market is down you should be investing more so with a vengeance people are investing and the market is going up again now the question to ask is after the market hits an all time high does it keep on hitting all time high or does it fall because one very clear thing is uh, market is gone up to high it is too uh, it cannot sustain so therefore market has to fall this is a wrong conclusion has the market gone up high yes is the market going to stay there i don't know but the question is market could go higher so if the market could go higher then the question is uh, should you be buying or should you be selling are you able to say uh today the sensex is 72000 odd and it will then go down because 72000 is a big number no that is wrong 72000 is just a number so it will go to 75 and then come back to 65 that is also possible but it is also possible that it goes from 72 to 75 to 78 to 82 and then comes back to 77 so if you have sold today or if you uh, are refusing to buy today because the market is going to go down because the market has already gone up you might be wrong and you might be wrong by a mile so what could happen is uh, the worst case scenario you sell when the market is at say 72000 on the uh, sensex and then uh, the market goes up to 75 77 80 82 and then you panic and say oh my god i was wrong and you buy at 82 and the market comes down to 77 right so all these possibilities exist so how should you tackle this now when i say people ask me this question the question is not so clear right they are not saying market has fallen should i buy the index right or market is gone up so should i stop doing my sip these are not the questions which people ask people say uh, pharma is doing very well last one year so is it time for me to sell pharma and buy something else that is a more difficult question because um, let us say pharma has done nothing for 5 years and then suddenly it goes up 20% then if you divide 20 by 6 it's only 3% up if you take a 6 year period people don't do that people say oh my god it has gone up too fast right but it could be compensating for doing nothing over the last 3 4 years similarly some uh, industry or some sector or some particular company when it goes up you have to see the long term how it has performed short term how it has performed how is the company being perceived today for example not uh, very long back but maybe late 90s Uh, Apollo Hospital used to be available at nine rupees, and it used to pay ten percent dividend, which means you had a dividend yield of about uh, more than ten percent, eleven percent dividend yield. Now it's ridiculous to find that the share price was at that such a uh, bottom price. Then it kept on going up. Then uh, people said, "Oh, everybody needs a doctor, so the hospital uh, revenues will only go up." Then it went to hundred and thirty, hundred and forty, one thousand. Uh, then people started looking at it like uh, like they would look at an FMCG or as a hotel stock, saying, "Okay, the supply is limited. People have no choice. People come under duress or whatever, but people are willing to spend money." Unlike a hotel industry where people come by choice and spend money here, people come compulsorily. They cry. Um, it hurts them financially, but they may sell their house, they may sell their land, but they still pay the medical bills. Right? Uh, collection is extremely high, so there uh, no bad debts, etc. So should you be buying uh, Apollo Hospital? Oh no! What has happened is it's already reached four thousand, five thousand, whatever, and now the government is saying they will put a ceiling on how much you can charge. None of this ceiling ever works, right? So the question is, should you be buying Apollo Hospital? That is a difficult question. Should you be uh, investing money in the hospital industry? 
please go and look at the PE. Is it worth investing in this PE? Is it comparative? No, I mean, is it competitive to other uh, industries? Is it competitive uh, to other companies in the same industry? Right? There are other. There is Max. There is uh, Fortis. You are these comparable, or is their capacity much too small so you can't compare it to Apollo? It's all difficult to say. So therefore, uh, one thing which I have realized is that if you have a reasonably well structured portfolio which is well balanced uh, you have uh, de debt you have equity maybe you have uh, real estate through REITs right so if you have that combination and you don't require money for seven eight ten years it's a great time to be investing constantly without worrying too much about what the market will do so my SIP in small cap fund continues my SIP in a micro cap index continues uh, I have not stopped any of that because I know that uh, the best thing to do to earn money is to sit tight during drawdowns when the market falls you have to sit tight when the markets are high you keep investing maybe lesser amount but you keep investing you cannot say oh I will withdraw uh, the money and I will enter the money when uh, I will enter with my money when the market goes up it's almost impossible to catch the top and the bottom you keep investing that's what I've been doing I am not sold I did not sell during a COVID crisis uh, that was useful because uh, withdrawing during uh, bad times is one of the worst things you can do to your portfolio so again coming back to the question uh, uh, the markets are at an all time high but it's never that the market is at an all time high you will have a market which is doing very well and you will also have uh, Asian paints, HGFC bank, HGFC uh, Kotak bank uh, maybe even HUL not giving any great returns in the last 6 months, 8 months maybe 2 years, 3 years so maybe it's a good time to be buying that but specifically which share that's far more difficult to say so best in such cases where you're moving just because of the sentiment uh, index makes more sense because index will reach a particular level then it if it does come down you can keep averaging because you know one day it will go back again whereas with companies you do not know whether uh, it will go back to that level at all and even if it does go when it will go so for individual stocks uh, whether to buy at uh, top is more difficult to say especially because with the individual stocks people tend to buy all that they can the as soon as they hear right if i tell you that uh, xyz company is good at 700 everybody thinks they have to buy at 700 and they will think at 800 or 900 it is overpriced and because you anchored on 700 even 600 looks very uh, cheap oh my god it's come down let me buy more right that that's what happens so uh, whether to buy at new highs is a very clearly a psychological question more than a financial question because even if I were to tell you this is a fantastic time to be buying the market rally has just started after that it is going to double triple whatever the question is uh, how do you process that do you want to still buy or does it still scare you right if you could be scared saying no I don't want to buy so I will stay out of the market perfectly right you could be right after two years you could be right after five years so both things are possible but if for five years you take a view that I will not invest in equities good chance that you are not creating wealth you might actually be losing money because of this one single decision so don't worry too much about what the market is doing market does what it has to do you should be worried about when you need the money if you need the money in three months obviously that has to be in cash account if you need the money in 10 years obviously that money has to be in equity thank you